Hello and welcome to GeForce, welcome to CES. I'm Julian, this is Vijay Sharma, and we're gonna talk about G-Sync compatible monitors. This is pretty big news for people who wanna use NVIDIA tech and want a monitor that really suits their needs, but what exactly is it? Yeah, really exciting news. What we've done is we're going to expand the G-Sync monitor ecosystem. We are going to test all the adaptive sync monitors out there. And the ones that pass our test for visual quality and performance and experience, we are going to call those G-Sync compatible. And we will enable those G-Sync compatible monitors automatically in our driver. We're not done yet. We've only tested about 400. Just 400. Just yeah. 400. So we've got another 150 or 160 to go. And so far, 12 have passed. 12. But yeah. it tells you how carefully we're testing them. And those 12 monitors will give you a good baseline variable refresh rate gaming experience. So we feel pretty good about those 12. So what is it about the non-validated ones that disqualified them from being G-Sync compatible? There's a couple sort of broad categories of visual issues that we see. One is sort of blanking. So you're playing a game and suddenly the screen will blank out and it happens, you know, frame to frame. So it appears as just a black frame in between the game frames. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough that you'd think something was wrong. The other thing that happens is your brightness of the screen is sort of randomly changing and it comes across as a flicker or a pulse. So those kind of broad category of things that go wrong with these monitors. And then to actually be G-Sync compatible, what does an adaptive sync monitor have to be able to do? It shouldn't blank, it shouldn't pulse, there shouldn't be any obvious issues on screen. The variable refresh rate feature should be enabled by default in the monitor, and it should have a sufficiently wide refresh rate range and that allows a driver to deliver a pretty good experience when you're playing a game. So what's NVIDIA going to do for owners of these monitors? It's supported on our driver now. Just download it and off you go. You don't have to worry about it. And the great news is that if we haven't tested your monitor yet, you can go into the control panel and turn it on yourself. Just so, see if it works. Just see if it works. Well, you guys, if you do not have a G-Sync monitor, NVIDIA is going to certify the 12 that are G-Sync compatible and still test more on the way. VJ, thank you so much for talking to us today. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in here on GeForce. Don't forget, while we're here at CES making tons of videos, we're also giving away RTX 2080 Ti's. If you just subscribe and leave a comment on any of our CES videos, you are going to be entered to win. Don't miss out on that. I'll see you next time here on GeForce.